Welcome to this Arnold Colourford Knitwear tutorial on turning a short row heel. This video is part of our Little lesson series filmed in one take during lockdown. I'm going to show you how to work a short row heel in three parts. I'm using the basic instructions from the Socks in Wanderlust, which is MDK Field Guide number 11, and these were designed by Wendy Bernard. If you'd like to purchase a copy of the pattern, do check the notes associated with this video on YouTube where you will find all the links that you need. Our heel is going to be worked backwards and forwards over half of the stitches in our round. So I've arranged those stitches so that I'm just working with two needles to make things easier to see. And I've already knitted most of the way across that row. Your pattern will tell you how many stitches to work for your size and you continue to knit on that first row until you reach the first wrap and turn point. We're now going to put a wrap and turn around this final stitch on my needle. I've been knitting so the yarn's at the rear of my work and I'm going to bring it to the opposite side of the work between the needle tips. I'm then going to slip the stitch from the left needle to the right needle without twisting it and I'm going to return the working yarn back to where it began and then I return the stitch back to where it began and you can see now that there is a bar of yarn sitting around the base of that stitch. I'm now going to turn the work and purl back along the row. Again my pattern will tell me how many stitches I need to purl and once you've got each end of the short row heel established, it's then very straightforward to continue in pairs of rows. I'm going to show you how to do them. Okay, we're approaching the end of my heel stitches. So I'm going to work the last two. And this is the stitch I'm going to do the wrap and turn on. So my yarn's at the front of the work because I've been purling. So I'm going to take it between the needle tips to the opposite side of the work. I then slip the next stitch from the left needle to the right needle without twisting it. And I bring the yarn back to the side of the work where it started. And then I return the stitch to the left needle. And then I can turn, oops, ready to work. The knit side again. Okay, so now I've established the two ends. I've got a wrap stitch at this end and a wrap stitch at this end. We're now going to work pairs of short rows where we knit along until we reach the final stitch before the wrap stitch. So I'm continuing to knit. all the way along. Okay, so that was an unwrapped stitch. This next stitch is unwrapped and then the last stitch has a wrap around it. So we're now going to wrap and turn the last unwrapped stitch and again we work in the same way. Bring the yarn to the opposite side of the work between the needle tips, slip the yarn with slip the stitch, sorry, without twisting it, and return the yarn where it started and return the stitch to where it started. And again, we've now got a wrap around the bottom of that next stitch. Turn the work. And now we're going to do the same at the purl end. So we're going to work along until we have one unwrapped stitch. It's slightly trickier to see whether the stitches are wrapped or not on the purl side of the work because the base of a purl bump does look a little bit like a wrap. So if you're in any doubt, okay, this is our last unwrapped stitch and this is our wrapped stitch. Maybe not super obvious on the purl side, but if you turn over onto the knit side, you can clearly see 
this last stitch here has no bar across the bottom of it, whereas this one does have a bar sitting over it. Okay, so the unwrapped stitch is now gonna get a wrap. Take the yarn to the opposite side of the work, slip the stitch, bring the yarn back, return the stitch, and then you're ready to turn. So that's the first stage of working a short row heel. You're gonna continue now to work knit rows and purl rows each time adding another wrapped stitch at the end until you've got the correct number of unworked stitches in the middle of the needles. So that's the end of part one of working a short row heel. There'll be a video link appear which will take you to part two where I show you how to change from making your rows shorter as we've done in this section to making them longer. If you'd like to find out more about any of our books do click the link up top. We do lots of techniques based knitting pattern books and we've got a subscribe button down here so you don't miss any of our video tutorials. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye bye.